A layer mask allows you to mask out or block content on a layer. And I can demonstrate that here. Let's just come down to I shall stick here with the smart object layer. We'll work with on this position. And let's apply a layer on this or a layer mask. Let's go up here to layer, layer mask. We have two kinds of we can do a reveal all mask or a hide all mask. So we have two options here. Now if I had selections, I could reveal or hide that selection. If I had transparency, I could do that. So I have some additional options in here. Some of these also come up once you have made one. Let's click on the hide all. And notice that this gives me a mask, which is black, and it hides everything on that layer. Let's just undo that. Layer, layer mask, reveal all. It gives me a layer that's white. And the reason I showed you both of those is because the mask depends upon the color. A white layer mask shows a black layer mask hides. That means that if I am on a white layer mask, I can paint onto that with black and hide content because black hides and white shows. Let me just bring my brush up a little bit here. That's a pretty good size. Okay. I have black set up in here. I'll come in here. I'm just going to paint in like this. And you'll see that painting is over here on the mask. Now, I didn't erase that section. I only hid it using a mask. If I right click, I can choose disable layer mask and it shows again, just like that. Right click again, enable layer mask, and it's hidden again. I can shift my color here to white. And if I paint with white, it then shows again, as you can see here. Just like that. Now, the nice thing about using these layer masks is it allows you to show or hide to delete or add content into an image by using a mask so the content is retained. Let's do something a little differently here on this. I'll click on the image side of this right there. Actually, I'll click on the mask side. There we go. That's better. Choose a rectangle marquee. Little marquee thing here. I'm going to fill this with a gradient, just like that. Now, the gradient is going from black to white because my background and foreground color. And you can see how where the gradient was white, or black, rather, where the gradient was black, we have a hole cut in here. Where the gradient was white, where it goes to white, it actually is allowing the whole image to show. Let's just deselect that so it's a little more easily. There we go. So you can use gradients as well inside of layer masks as long as it's black and white or black through gray through white the gray value controls the transparency of that particular shape so there we go there's a little transparent rectangle cut into that mask and again i can disable that goes away and let's enable that and it's back in again so that's working with these layer masks it's a great way to have again a little more control over your image if you want to show or hide parts of your image. Now to get rid of a layer mask, again, just right click and you can delete that layer mask right here. You also can go up to the layer menu and layer mask and now we can delete that layer mask here as well. So click on delete and it removes that layer mask.